down the corners and the back. Just got to weld it in. No more holes, no more rust. On the wheel arch. Yeah. Finish the door. Put a few patches in the bottom. One small one down there. All this corner was gone. I had to fix all that. And make another ledge. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Yeah, if you need steel, go to the wreckers. Get one that's damaged, it'll probably give it to you. Cut all your patches out of that. This is a patch I'm going to use for the window. Probably, I think they're 1.2 steel. And 1.6 is the thinnest you can buy the black steel, <coughs> which is what I've used on some of the stronger bits that I've needed. So we've got some patches here. <coughs> Grind them off so the paint doesn't stuff up the welding. <coughs> and that one will go up on there. I'll tack it on the inside and then I'll go on the outside and weld it. After welding all little little bits so the heat doesn't warp it. <coughs> yeah, I don't use um, flange tool simply for the reason that um, it would take me forever to do this job if I done it with a flange tool. I've had to do it in the quickest cheapest, easiest way. Because there's so much to do. It is a bus, it isn't a, a street car. So hopefully any imperfections will cover up with um, epoxy sealer. Yeah, I've welded these patches in. The welds aren't pretty, but once they're grind back. The issue is putting a lot of heat in there. Someone's given me a tip that um I can use 0.6 wire. So I'm gonna try that when I weld me window covers on. At the moment I'm using 0.8 on the lowest setting. I've got some air to cool it down but I don't know if you can see that. It's warped a bit in the middle. Hopefully I can use a shrinking hammer and a bit of panel venting. It's on the roof. Solar panel's going to go over this. No one sees the roof. But, um, I've got a little MIG <coughs> this one here 
135 gasless MIG. You can hook gas up to it. Only cost me about 300 bucks. And go over to Pete at DIY Auto School. My friend Pete. Great reference. Much appreciated.